professional basketball, how often do you think about that these days? Uh, I mean, every so often, but not not much. I mean, I think about it for, um, you know, a lot of the players reach out and they want to come out and work out and do some things like that. So I have guys come down and, and I'll work with them. Who's come? Who's been? Jason's, been, Jason's been down. Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum's been down. Uh, Kuzma's been down. I uh, have a couple more in the books coming down later in the summer. What do you do with them? What do you do um, with these guys? Well, you know, the first thing to do is self-assess. Like, what do you feel comfortable doing on the court? What do you don't feel comfortable doing? I mean, it starts with that. You got to be able to look inside and say, okay, you know, coaches can only tell you but so much. You know what you can and can't do, and you have to be honest about it. And so once we get to that, then it's okay, well, let's put you through it. How does Kuzma look to you? Dude, he looks great, man. He looks great. He's got good rhythm. He, um, he has the ability to disassociate movements, mm -hmm. right, which gives him a fluidity when he plays. Um, but he can shoot the ball. He's worked on his mid-range game, game a lot. Post-up game looks strong. So looking forward to him having a good year, man. How often do you give your thoughts on the current Laker roster to, say, your former agent? Every, every time Rob calls me. Okay. <laughs> you, you offer something up to him? Well, yeah. I mean, look, Rob and I have been friends forever. I mean, mm -hmm. He's godfather to Gianna. And, um, so we'll, we'll talk, man. And I'll, sometimes I'll call just to check him to see how he's doing, mm -hmm. you know, because like, you know, when I played during the season, he'd have to pick up for me with my family because I'd miss, for example, Halloween, Christmas. Sure. And so he'd go out with my family and stuff. And when so, he was your agent. When he was my agent. And okay. so now it's just kind of reverse. So when he's out on the road, I'll spend time with his family and take him out trick-or-treating and all that good stuff. What do you think of Rondo's uh, presence here with Lonzo Ball and him? Is there, you think, a competition in the backcourt? No, I think there's a lot to be learned from. I mean, Rondo's a student of the game. How he studies the game, I think mm -hmm. it's something that Lonzo can learn from. You know, you know, Rondo will sit there and watch film for hours and hours and hours and hours and dissect and pick things apart to the smallest of detail. And I think it's important for Lonzo to see that. Also, how he facilitates the game, how he reads things happening before they actually happen how you can manipulate the defense to make things happen. And also defensively, he gets after you. Mm -hmm. So I think it's great. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.